Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for more adventures in East Sussex. I'm exploring a couple of churches today on the Downlands, just south of Lewis, the church here at South East, and which is St Peter's and St Nicholas Church at Iford, just up the road. Well, we're first here at the church at South East. church was built around the 11th century on what they say was a Saxon building beforehand and it's only one of three churches in Sussex with a round tower which is quite an exclusive feature a round tower I mean a beautiful setting absolutely gorgeous setting I mean you look out at the lovely villages uh, buildings around and up onto the South Downs so I'm a North Downs person up in Surrey South Downs, still beautiful. Um, The font here is 12th century, along with these fantastic wall paintings, also 12th century, that were whitewashed over in the Reformation. You've got some there and some up here as well. I do have a thing about medieval wall paintings. Another one here. Imagine what they looked like back in the day. Fantastic. A hatchment up there, hatchment. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This wood here. I wonder how old that wood is. Interestingly, the dedication to St Peter is post-medieval. I just wonder what the dedication was uh, before then. South East Church in the village of South East. So this is just about a couple of miles south of Lewis on the South Downs. That's interesting. Uh, Charter of King Edgar giving the Church of South East to the Abbey of Hyde, Winchester in the year 966. I think people have to remind me to bring out some um, cash so I can get the little guidebooks. I'm always saying this about the guidebooks. Uh, yeah, South East, through the centuries, AD 966 to 2009. So we are going back to uh, Saxon times, late Anglo-Saxon times. Ah, uh, yes. That's, I think that's the, uh, the blocked up Norman window. The blocked up Norman window. The pew is actually Jacobean, Jacobean in origin. So a lot of styles of those got the aesthetic of an ancient church still in its design and everything. I'd say this wood still intrigues me. How old that wood is. There, a little look around St Peter's Church in South East. 
which was absolutely lovely. Um, some of these, oh what a glorious setting this is, sorry before I depart, it is a glorious setting. So now we're going to head down to Eiford, just down the road, and St Nicholas Church. Let's go. So welcome to St Nicholas Church in Eiford, which was built in 1090 on the site, again most probably of a Saxon building. Beautiful church overlooking the South Downs and there is a chap mowing the lawn who's just having a chat at the moment so um, that's going to start up, it's just a quick visit. But yeah, just quickly show you uh, St Nicholas Church. Lovely, it's Thursday the 18th of April and heading back towards Surrey today after all these videos I've been doing from uh, East Sussex. Lovely bell tower. The bell well, from 1426. Um, this must be the oldest part of the church in the chancel. I say there was a Saxon building, they say, on the site beforehand. Again, I've said so many times there must be boring people. Why were these ancient sites built where they were? Pre Christian, pre pagan, pre anything. Why were they built where they were? It's lovely. Church is grade one listed and just 30 metres to the west, which will be, I'm not quite sure, we're on the Greenwich Meridian line, which is interesting. Again, as I was in South East Church, Mark, start bringing out some money with you so you can get some of these guidebooks. Lovely. Old door alert. Font is 12th century, 12th century font. That was nice, just a nice little chat with the groundsman who's mowing the lawn. Yeah, very nice. I said, Yeah, you've got the South Downs, I'm up from the North Downs. He goes, Oh, yes, my wife's from Brockham. And I said, Oh, yeah, yeah, know it well, know it well. So I hope you enjoyed these little videos from South East Church and here at Eiford as my friend starts mowing the lawn. <laughs> it's been great. I've got one more video to do on this trip from Kingston Village just up the road where we're having lunch. And please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff if you think there's any merit. And on this gloriously starting to get very warm day, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.